Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with a lot of new and fun makeup. So I have here the Hello Kitty and ColourPop collection that I'm super excited to get into. Um, when I sat down today I had no idea where I was, what I was going for but um, I just knew I wanted to do something colorful. I know it's early winter still. So it's cold outside. And I'm wearing a bright blue <laughs> tie-dye sweatshirt with like um, a blossom, a peach blossom tree, you know, that kind of situation. So, you know, whatever, we're going to sit down and play around. Um, I just wanted to feel a little colorful, a little bit happy. So um, we're just going to sit down and play around with makeup. There is no expectations today. We just want to have fun. So if that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. It's not a game. It's a okay, so I already prepped my skin. I used my um, Peter Thomas Roth uh, Hyaluronic Serum on my face, just to moisturize, and then I went in with the Elf Matte Putty Primer. So it's already setting in and kind of dry. So we're going to go ahead and now uh, put on foundation. So for foundation, I've tried this before, but the shade was off. So um, I didn't like it. There's just the shade was too pink. Um, so I went ahead and I bought another shade. I don't, I don't know. I remember trying this shade at Sephora and it wasn't the right shade. But I think it's just my closest match. and I just have to like deal with it. So I grabbed, or I pumped, I grabbed, I used three pumps. Oh, that does look like it's going to be a good shade for me. Okay. I think I initially bought like, um, I have the shade 240. I think I initially bought 230 and 230 is a little more pink undertoned and I forgot a sponge. Oh my gosh. So just first, uh, right off the bat, um, I don't know, it doesn't seem a full cover as full coverage as everyone made it seem. Um, I used three hole punch, punch, three hole punch, yes. <laughs> I'm also a teacher, <laughs> part time. Um, three, what, what was I saying? I used three hole pumps of foundation. That is what I was trying to say. And it's not, full, where did my foundation go? There it is. It's, you can still see a lot of my discoloration, hyperpigmentation from the acne scars. And I feel like three pumps is a decent amount. Yeah, I used a sponge, but the sponge doesn't actually absorb a lot of product. There's some on the surface, but it really doesn't like absorb a lot of product. So I'm gonna use one more pump. This is four pumps at this point. I'm gonna try and build up those areas I'm not crazy about. Let's, it's just my cheeks, obviously. Um, I just wanna add a little bit more. I'm not gonna use a sponge this time. I'm gonna go in with a brush. Let's see. Go in with my Sigma, um, what is this, F80. Let's see if I can Get this to build up a little bit more. And it is oxidizing. See, like, it's darker um, than the foundation I just applied. So it does oxidize a tiny amount. About, like, half a shade. A little bit. It does look a little more orange-toned as well than when you first apply it. Hmm. I'm not really crazy about orange tones. I'm like an olive undertone, so. I feel like orange tones are surprisingly really flattering for people who like self-tan. 
delivery truck. Um, for people who self tan and also just like tan in general, I'm sorry, it was a stupid comment. People who tan, either self tan or whatever, it gives you this really weird orange tone um, that's not normal. <laughs> um, yeah, this seems like that would really help with that. So I used four pumps and it did build up a little bit but I mean it's definitely like if you're going to consider this full coverage I would consider this like low full coverage it's not full full coverage it's definitely on the lower end of full coverage with four pumps so yeah I wouldn't consider that full full coverage definitely I feel like it still makes it in the category but like barely like I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. For someone who has, um, if somebody has more acne than me, I wouldn't consider this full coverage. All right, now for concealer. I used to have the shade 185, but I don't know why I didn't like this. Maybe it was too light. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit light. Okay. So I have the shade 185. I don't remember how I particularly feel about the concealer. So we're going to go ahead and use it today. I also have the shade 210, so this is the one I went back for. Um, okay, that one's definitely a little bit darker. Like, I feel like I needed, like, 200. Like, if only 200 was, like, a yellow tone, I would have bought it, probably. Probably mixing these two shades will be really, really good for me, so. Another little, I want honorable mention. I love this mirror. Um, I saw... Alyssa Ashley with this mirror and I'm like oh ooh, I want that mirror and I went and bought it and it's really really nice it's super light it's really really big it has like a little stand it can literally stand on your table which is really really nice too I mean you can't use it that way but it's too low but it is like a really cute concept that it can stand on its own so I do like that about it Okay, that concealer was okay. It's not mind-blowing. Um, I know there's better concealer at the drugstore. L'Oreal, CoverGirl, Flower Beauty. I'm trying to think more. Elf. Just doesn't seem to make sense to pay that extra money for a concealer when the drugstore has better ones. So for powder, I'm just going to use the Fenty powder. I've actually, like... When I originally, oh gosh, I got a mess over here. When I originally bought the Fenty collection, like, I want to say, like, years ago, um, I really did love this powder, and I still do really, really like it. Um, but over the years, um, the drugstore has kind of, I want to say, like, matched it, if not made it better. So I feel like, um, years ago, when this first came out, this was a great powder for the price it was just a really really good powder and you get a lot of powder in here as well so but now the drugstore has such good powders that I don't know it just it doesn't make sense to pay this much for powder anymore guys it really doesn't but it is a nice powder the only powder I really recommend oh my gosh is the Laura Mercier guys that's like the best powder ever <laughs> this powder like I said, this one's nice though. It does. This one is a nice powder. I have mine in the shade Butter. I do not like the messy packaging. I personally love the fragrance in here. But I do hear that some people hate the fragrance in here. I don't. I forgot to, I forgot to set the rest of my face. Um... I particularly actually enjoy scent, but some people do not enjoy scent, especially like if they have more sensitive skin. Like I have really sensitive skin, but my skin's not sensitive to fragrance. It's like sensitive to like oils and ingredients, but not fragrance. So it's like one of the weird things. Also, one of the things I'm not mentioning today, just because I want to kind of get through this video, the Fenty highlighters are great because um, I have other highlighters I want to use. 
the Fenty Cream Bronzer and the Powder Bronzer. They're really, really nice. Um, again, anything special? No. But um, they are really good. Like, you're not going to go wrong. You're not going to regret buying it. It's a good product. But, um, again, drugstore has so many good products. So, I feel like this is a really bad video. I'm just talking about all the drugstore products I love. I should just make a drugstore video. What am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, so sorry about that rant. So, really quick, I'm going to bronze off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just uh, gave myself just a very light layer with the um, balm Take Home the Bronze. My favorite bronzer of all time. It's the best. I love it. Oops, making a mess. Um, I only want to do a light layer because I want to use the Hello Kitty blushes. I got both of them. I don't know why. I'm never going to use this pink one. Like, Look how pink that is. It is so pink. Oh my gosh, so crazy. Um, and I also picked up this shade, which I know I will use. Um, this is the bundled up shade. Look at that. That is like right up my alley, but I'm thinking I might just mix them. Let's we'll just mix them and see what happens. Or I'm going to, actually, I just had another idea. I'm going to very lightly use this pink one and see how it looks. Just because I feel like I always judge these blushes. It's looking like purple and blue in the thing. Oh my gosh. I feel like I always judge these blushes before using them. So put your money what your mouth is, girl. I have no idea what I did. What did I just say? <laughs> Lord help. Okay, so this is way too light for me. It's like one. It's making my face look weird. Oh gosh, there's not, you guys can't see it. My cheek looks purple in real life like a very pinky purple this is exactly why i don't like these shades exactly like why it's so, it's so weird okay and it's making my face look i think it is kind of showing up on camera it's like a little ghostly it's making me look more pale i don't know if you guys can see that like stripe of white like bluish white it's a new on the shade at frost sight Get it at first sight, frost sight. Clever, but no. That same dirty brush, because I don't want to clean it. Mm. I tapped it into my color changer dog hair. Okay, I'm going to go in with bundled up. This is whew, so much more my shade. I'm so, so ready for this. I hope the other shade didn't like ruin it for me, though, because I did try to build it up. Oh, this is really, really sheer. I'm not sure I'm digging this right now. I mean, I've had a problem with ColourPop's blushes being a little light. But dang, this one's really, really, like, sheer. It won't even show up. They mean for these to be, like, collector's items and not show up on people. There we go. Still a little light. I don't know if you guys can really tell what I'm talking about. It's making me look, like... Like lighter, like more pasty and pastel-y. It's not like it's not like making me look more peachy pink. I don't know, I'm not really liking this formula. It could be like, the shade underneath that I should have just not done that and just gone in with the shade. But I'm gonna have to try this one again. Or maybe they're both duds. I don't know. But this mm, I don't know. Like it looks like it has a white undertone. Like I look really weird. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I can still rescue it. Oh, I was going to try this too anyways. I'm going to try this Pure Blush Palette. Let's go ahead and try and rescue this. Let's just go at it. This is a Pure and Barbie collab blush palette. I forgot I wanted to use this. So <sighs> I'm going to use this color changer thing again on my blush, blush brush. And then... It's still stained a little bit, but it's really, really good. It, it'll work. I mix these two middle shades. And I'm going to go over that a little bit. I think that's better. That is much, much better. Did you see that? Like, this looks really cool toned and with a white undertone, and this side looks more peachy pink now. Yes, fam. Yes to saving the look. So, 
I'm still gonna try that Hello Kitty one by itself though. The second one without the other one underneath. Maybe that will be better. It's still super sheer though. I was hoping it would do this, like kind of go over it and take over and it didn't do that. It's, it wasn't pigmented enough to do that. Holy cow, I look crazy in person. Wow, all the blush. All the blush. I'm just gonna take my powder brush <laughs> and go over it. I didn't realize I was going so ham with the blush, but it's okay. Nothing's permanent. Nothing is forever. Except this. Jeez, what is this? <laughs> it happens, guys. It's okay. Even to the best of us. Not saying I'm the best, but you know what I mean. Okay. It's going to be a blushful day today, guys. <laughs> what can I say? Maybe one of those days. Okay. Another thing I'm super excited about. I just watched this and I thought it was in insane i thought it was incredible all right this is the disney or this is the <laughs> it is the pure and barbie um confident glow highlighter oh gosh <sighs> look at this i already just watched it on my hand i didn't love the pink shade it kind of fell apart and crumbled on me but i oh that smells good girl mm. oh my god that smells really good. It has like a really light scent to it. Like um, like the Fenty one, but a little fruitier. I don't know if that makes sense, but you all know what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and use the gold edge. I don't like the pink one as much. It's a little more powderier and more pink. Like, look at that. It's just a little too powdery in my opinion. The formula actually seems really nice, but just a little powdery. Like, there you go. Like, see, look. Look at that gold one. Ooh. Actually, I'd probably blend them in. We'll blend them in. Watch me regret this later. Just like the blush. Oh, girl. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. I love it. Just a little powdery again. There's a lot of kick up when I dip into my brush. Dip into my compact. I mean... Ooh. 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 That looks so pretty, guys. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so, Elephant in the Room. It does appear like it's emphasizing my texture, but I have a lot of texture. Sometimes I don't feel right um, saying a product emphasizes my texture. Because I don't think it does. I just think highlighting in general usually will emphasize texture. There are some products that do it less or more. But at the same time, I'm highlighting like an, a problem area for myself. Like, look at this side. Like, I still have texture on this side. But this side looks absolutely beautiful and not emphasized. But since I actually have a lot of texture here, that side does look a little more emphasized on the texture and stuff. So... Even though I have texture on both sides, if that makes sense, guys. So I don't want you guys to misjudge this product. It's a really, really nice product. I am loving it. So pretty. I'm going to put this all over my face. I want to put it all over my body, too. What's wrong with me? Who is she? Weirdo. <clears throat> okay. Love this, it's beautiful. If you can get your hands on it, I would just go ahead. I didn't grab a lipstick from the collection. Um, the shades that kind of spoke to me, I was unsure of. And then I remembered that last year, out of the last Barbie collection, I bought a lipstick and then I didn't end up using it. And I kind of want to declutter it. So I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm like, the shades just looked too, too similar. So I'm like, I'm not doing that to myself, so. We're not doing that, so um, I'm not throwing away the blushes. I just threw away the bar the, the Bartons, the cartons. What? <laughs> okay, really quick. Ooh, I forgot I had these. I had the lip scrub. I got the little duo, which um, I'm not gonna use those right now. But I'm gonna use the ooh. 
Oh gosh, it came everywhere. Ah! It just went everywhere, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's really creamier than I thought it would be. I took the lid off and then it just went like a little stringy thing and you went everywhere. I'm adding a tiny little bit to my lips. It has like a sweet mint taste to it. A little minty. A little peppermint smet. Smet. Smell scent. <laughs> smet. <laughs> Help me get through this video, guys. Come on. Oh, God. What's wrong with me? Help. Lord, help. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the part where you guys came here to see. Let's look at the eyeshadow palette, wherever I put it. <gasps> Did I throw it away? Oh, no. Guys, I do not know where I am today. I literally put it next to the blushes. So here it is. Here is the Hello Kitty. I know this is old and you probably can't get your hands on it, but I was just super excited about it. I felt like it was appropriate. I thought these had blues in it. <laughs> Clearly do not. But, you know, we'll use some of the peachy shades. The peachy and the pink shades. It's too late now. We're just going to embrace. I'm, I'm feeling a vibe today, guys. So I'm going to go into this pink shade right here. This one, it's called, which is made of mess, Snow Globe. I don't know why that one's called Snow Globe, but okay. Um, probably would have switched that one with the shade, maybe? Or the gold shade? I don't know. None of these remind me of a snow globe. I feel like a white would remind me of a snow globe. Usually they have white snow. But pink? Snow globe? I don't know. I'm just being picky at this point. I'm just going to be picky, picky, picky. What else can I do? Mm. Mm, this pink is pulling very purple. This one right here. You guys can see it. It looks like a very red, purpley undertone. So, not loving it. That's okay, though. We're going to go ahead and go into Ice Skates, which is this peachy shade. Let's bring it back to my shirt. I don't know why I'm layering this, these shades instead of just starting off with a peachy shade. Why am I like this? But I don't know. I was feeling a little pinky peach, and then now I'm feeling more peach because that pink is purple. It's not pink. So now that's what I'm trying to... Trying to do, I'm trying to save it like I did the blush. I'm gonna try and save the look. Does that look like it? Mm, not really. Okay, let's grab a little bit more, build it up even more. Go nuts with it. Go crazy. Go windshield wiper motions. And just pack it on. Like Donkey Kong. That's not the same. I know that. Sorry, my stomach is making really weird sounds right now. So if you can hear that, again, I'm sorry. Can't control the insides. Okay. Meh. Let's still see the pink. It's whatever. We're moving on. What is this shade? I kind of really interested in this shade. Like, how does it kind of come up? Okay, so it's a matte with a little bit of shimmer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely more of a... I don't know if I would call that a transition shade. Maybe like a, a matte lid shade. It's kind of how I'm using it right now. A little bit of glitter, but... um, It's that matte with glitter that ColourPop does now. I don't know why. I really hate those kind of types of shadows. I don't hate them, but I really, really, really don't like them. And then for the shimmer, let's do this pink one. Let's hope it's not purple. It looks like it has a gold shift to it, so hopefully it'll be prettier than the transition shade I decided to use. Nope, it's still pulling purple. Guys, <laughs> why am I like this? What is my what is my issue? What is my deal? 
Okay, so I'm not digging the look right now. Let's go into the gold shade. Let's see what this does. Better. Better. Let's just layer it all the way on top. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. It's it's more neutral. Of course, I would like it. Oh, why am I like this? But I just went over that whole matte shade I just put on there. What am I doing? I have no plan. I'm just playing around. It's okay, Denise. You don't always have to have a plan. You don't always. Control freak over here. I always have to have a plan. But I didn't have a plan going into today. I just, not even right now when I sat down. I sat down, I wanted to do a different video. And I saw this Hello Kitty collection. I'm like, no, let's do that video instead. Probably should have gone with the original video. Girl. Girl on bus. Like, they're so basic. Okay. I forgot I wanted to dip into this. So this is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. Way to go, Denise. You're just now remembering. You've just been sitting on it for like hours. I'm just kidding. Minutes. But like, look at this. Look at this. Let's see if we can do something better than this. So let's start over. No, i We're not starting over. But um, we're just going to layer it on top. Why not? Don't judge me if you don't like this palette because we're just layering on top. We don't know how this would perform on its own because we're layering it on top. Ooh, this pumpkin shade, look, that magic. <gasps> that looks beautiful, guys. Okay, let's use a pumpkin. That same dirty brush. Let's fold it up. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It is showing up a little bit. Definitely more in person than it is on camera, guys. But it is showing up, guys. And it's blending really, really easily on top of the other shades. We love a good workable formula. Very pigmented. Okay, there we go. There we go, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're rescuing this. And now I want to use a different brush. I want to do something, I don't know. Just I'm gonna go into the shade peanut butter. For her. I kinda wanna go into chocolate, but it looks a little berry tone. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like a berry. So we're not doing that one, but we are gonna go into the shade peanut butter. Let's go ahead and do that and then let's kind of smoke out the outer the outer third because I need something. I need some sort of depth. Okay, so that shade isn't really dark enough to do it for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take peanut butter and chocolate and that sounds like a weird combo. Well, it's not weird. It's Reese's peanut butter cups, bitch. Duh. Okay, yeah, it is very, very dumb. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. And I'm gonna smudge it on the outer corner of my eye because I need some sort of depth, girl. It's too bright. Is it though? I don't know. It's not too bright. Just stuck in my head. I'm just kidding. Mm. Definitely is very, very toned. That's fine. Whatever it, it goes with the with the vibe. Definitely got some on my lower lash line though, so now I gotta smear that in. Make it look like it was intentional. What happens when you start being messy with things? <laughs> okay, so one thing I'm just not realizing, there's not a lot of depth in here. I would have liked to have seen one more darker shade. Cause even this one looks really dark in person. But it doesn't come off that dark on the eye. Like, I am dipping it in there and then it kind of just blends away. So, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more depth in this palette. I say that, but there was like no depth in the ColourPop one. 
let's be real. But when you have like a 30 shade palette, whatever, you would think you'd be able to like spare one shade for like a deep shade. When you have a nine pan palette, you're kind of limited on how much depth you can add because you only have nine shades. Now that I'd excuse ColourPop from all their crappy launches where they have like zero depth. No, they still suck, Mike. They're great formula, no depth. No color friendly, you know, people color friendly palettes, you know, it's kind of kind of like a non-existent thing for them. <sighs> That's a subject for a different day. So for my eye, just to add a little bit of pop, I use this cool toned salted caramel shade. I'm just curious. It's not even going to look good, I don't think, but ooh, this cookie dough shade looks, <gasps> ooh, I'm going to use this cookie dough shade. Look at this one. I'm going to use that one instead. Wasn't plan. Ooh, ooh, ladies and gentlemen. What? That is so beautiful. Oh my god. Again, this is a shade of cookie dough. Oh. Beautiful. So I'm putting cookie dough on the other eye now too. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Put it all up in this hoe, bitch. I'm sorry, I need to stop talking like that. I talk like that in real life, but... Pretty sure my nieces watch my videos, maybe, so I need to stop. I need to stop, and they're like eight, so I need to stop cussing all the time, because I'm a terrible human being. Oh, guys, I love this look, though. It's so spring vibes. And it's winter. <laughs> it happens. It just happens sometimes. Hey guys, I am back. So I just finished off my eyes off camera. I did my brows and my eyeliner and my mascara. And that was it. That's all I did off camera over you guys. Um, I did blot my lip a little bit as well. Um, I'm going to go in with liner. I'm going to try these KKW liners. Um, this came in a little holiday set. I thought it was so cute. I really, really, in, like, I think I've tried her formula before and I really, really enjoyed it. And I just like the idea of this. It came with five colors and they're all on the back. And I've just heard really, really good things about her line. And I do remember enjoying one of her pencils. I think it was a Mario collab that she did. This is the shade, um, oops, one, nude one. It's like the pinkiest one, I thought, from the collection, so... And it's not very pinky at all. Great. People and their fast cars. Mm. Let's try to use a different shade. One or two. One or two or 90s style. Let me see really quick. One or two. 90s style. Or two. Mm. Here it is. Let me see. I'm going to grab whichever one's more pink. So, ooh, this one's more pink, but this one's more deep. So, I'm going to grab 90 style, which is more pink. And try to go over it. There we go. Best that I can do. It's so creamy. Any product you put on top is going to kind of slip and slide. So. so I had a ton of products. I have these Anastasia lip sticks I wanted to try. I also have the ColourPop Hello Kitty gloss. I had the KKW glosses as well. Um, these little mini Christmas set as well. I think I'm going to go with this and then I'll show you guys in a second what I'm going to use as a topper. So these are the two shades. This is the shade Velvet. And I got the shade Praline as well. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Praline. It just looks like the right tone for this look. Mm, no. I love that's not the right tone for the look. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. It happens, guys. It happens sometimes, and 
And it's definitely way more cool toned and purpley grungy than I expected. That was praline. I didn't like praline. Surprisingly really light. Um, I expect that to be darker. I also have the shade Velvet. Yeah. I'm going to try and see how this looks like. Mm, definitely cool, cool tone as well. It reminds me of Sepia from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but not as gray or brown. It looks nice. I like this color better. But I feel like it doesn't really go with the look. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to top it off with this Fenty Gloss in the shade Taffy Tees. When she released this new Christmas collection, I thought it was like super, super cute. But like this color is the color that drew me in. I'm like, I love colors like this. I'm like, and Fenty's formula is the best. And I'm like, I have to see how this looks on me. So I've not used this yet. I know we're going over another shade. Don't be so judgy about it. I'm going to see what happens. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It didn't do a lot to the color. It did help. It's going to taste a little different than her other ones. But very similar, but a little more fruity. I'm surprised. Um, usually her stuff is pretty consistent in scents and in taste, I guess, uh, formulations. It does feel like her other formulas. Very, very creamy, very sheer. Mm. I think I have a lot of product on. So it is like bunching up a little bit. Okay guys, that is it for today's look. That is my look. So very quickly, um, the Fenty foundation stuff. I don't know if you can see, it did oxidize a little bit more. It looks like you guys can see there's like a line right here where, yeah, I guess you can say I didn't blend out my foundation. I don't like to blend out my foundation to, um, down my neck because I don't like it to transfer on my clothes and stuff. So, um, yeah, I know I have to blend it a little bit, but I mean, that's not really the problem. The problem is it doesn't match me very well. And unfortunately, I don't think Fenty has a shade for me. That's a really good shade match. This one, like, at first looked like it was going to be a good shade, but then it oxidized and then it turned a little orange. It's a tiny bit orange, like half a shade too dark, half a shade orange, and then it didn't really match me very well. Um, going lighter would be too light for me. So, um, I think maybe in the winter, in the winter, no, in the summer it might be a better shade or a nice mix-in shade um, for some of my foundations just to give it some more of that summer color, that summer bronze shade. Um, but just not my favorite. It just seems a little overhyped. It really reminds me of my L'Oreal Freshwear foundation. Like, I feel like I got the same exact look. Like, I can get it to look this matte and this full coverage with less foundation. So, I don't know. If you've been thinking about buying this one, just buy the L'Oreal Freshwear. It's an, a mattifying primer, you know, and you'll get the similar look. So, yeah. It's not bad though. And it's definitely better than the last shade I had, which was 230, which was too pink. So, um, definitely better. Obviously I'll keep it. I also had the, um, this one. I didn't try it today though, but I have it and I don't know, it kind of puts me in a meh mood about Fenty Beauty. Um, they do have a lot of good products though. Like their gloss, again, their glosses are amazing. Um, their concealer, Okay, you know, whatever. Drugstore has them better. Um, but Fenty bronzers, so good. Um, they're cream blushes. They're a little sheer. Um, not my favorite. You know, just throwing that in there just for FYI. Her powder, pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I mentioned about her? No. So, the Hello Kitty collection. It's a cute collection, but I mean... Meh. Has ColourPop done these colors before? They, yeah, they have the You Are a Cutie. They had the That's My Pleasure. That's My Pleasure palette. There's like another pink and purple one. They have like five pink and purple ones. So whatever. Um, the Glam Light palette. I feel like I need way more playing around with this. But one thing, one comment I can say straight, a bit, straight away is what I told you guys. 
there's not a lot of depth to this palette. There's not enough, like, there's a lot of light bright colors and not, like, I just need, like, two deep shades that can deepen on, like, another shade. You know, I can mix in to kind of add some depth and this palette is missing that depth. Um, but same as all of ColourPop's palettes. <laughs> not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, but like I said, it's easier to do it in something like this than it is in something like this. So I'm kind of disappointed in that aspect. But I have a lot more to play with with this one. I'm not really a crazy colorful person. This is the extent of my colorfulness. <laughs> so, um, you know, not I'm not dissing them in any way like that. This is a beautiful, colorful color story. I love it. Just needed a little bit more depth just to, I don't know, complement those colorful shades. Um... What's next? Um, more color pops things or things. Oh, the blushes. I already told you guys, I think it wasn't crazy about the blushes. Um, they seemed really sheer, but at the same time, they kind of um, lightened my skin tone, if that made sense. Like, I know it doesn't make sense, but I, I think you guys were able to see it on camera. Um, Pure definitely came to the rescue. This blush palette is beautiful. I know I just tried two shades, but it, it rescued my look, so... And Pure has a really, really good formula. Pure is one of, I think, the most underrated brands. Like, I feel like I hear about a lot of brands, but you don't hear enough about Pure, and they're a really good brand. Their foundation, their four-in-one Love Your Selfie foundation, so good, so good. Like, why don't more people rave about it? Um, the Pure highlight, this is gorgeous, beautiful. I love this highlight. Love it, it's beautiful. I don't know. It was rattling and it wasn't rattling. I don't know why it rattles. That's kind of weird. There's nothing in here. Um, the these uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, velvet lipsticks and satin lipsticks. Um, they kind of pulled off a little lighter than the swatches online, which isn't. I mean, that's like phone to phone. Everyone's phone or computer or whatever is gonna look a little different. Um, but I thought these would kind of flatter my skin tone a little bit better. And the shade Praline just seemed too light and cool toned. It looked a little weird. Um, but Velvet was a little bit better for my skin tone. So I like that one. I thought it was going to be the other way around and it wasn't. Um, the KKW Lip Liners. Creamy, beautiful, very, very nice. Um, I didn't get a chance to play with these. I wish I would have. Um, because I already know I love the Fenty formula. So it's not really trying anything new. But... I don't know, I just wanted to wait. It just didn't feel like today was that day. I just wanted something to kind of brighten up my look and these shades kind of weren't going to do it for me. Like, clearly, you can see which one kind of goes with today's look better. So I just wanted that for that purpose. So that is it for today's video, guys. Sorry it was a long one. Um, I really enjoy these videos with you guys, though. But, I mean, I'm sorry that my videos are so long. I really am trying to work on making shorter videos that is definitely one of my goals for 2021 is to kind of figure out how to condense videos for you guys a little bit more so i can get the point across but be quick and you know easy and just for you guys i don't want to waste your guys time but um i still want to sit down and be able to enjoy talking to you guys so this is that um just one of the longer more chatty videos so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one i love you guys so much